The best theme team in Madden 24 is the Cowboys theme team. And in this video, we're going to be showing you kind of how to set this up so that you can have the maximum flexibility with the best opportunistic defense. And there's actually a card I don't have that I'm going to talk about why I think it is the most significant card in the game. And everyone needs to get this card. So uh, how we're going to set this up is we are first and foremost going to be talking about uh, just the 50-50 at -50 a Cowboys theme team. What, is it, what does it get you? Well, it gets you, in my opinion, the best corners and the best uh, receiving combination of the two. In theme teams, if you think about it, you're really doing all of your work to make an effect on speed, right? The whole purpose of a 50 out of 50 theme team is because it gives you plus two speed. So if we take a look here at Amari Cooper, who is uh, the harvest card Amari Cooper, you see that he goes up to 93 speed on a Cowboys uh, 50 out of 50 theme team. You also have a receiver like Stephon Gilmore, though, which on a 50 out of 50 Cowboys theme team, he goes up to 95 speed, which I believe 95 speed is the fastest. Um, you might have a 96, but I think 95 is the fastest ex with the exception of Todd Gurley, which we're going to talk about some cards I still need to get. But in my opinion, these these are the best. Uh, this is the best theme team that you can have right now. So, uh, anyways, the biggest thing here is receivers. You're trying to get the fastest receivers possible. And the other thing that uh, is kind of an underrated thing is your running back position. Now, I actually have Marshall Falk here, just because I don't have the. Or, well, I guess I do have the coins to avoid Todd. Uh, afford Todd Gurley, but he's absolutely outrageous right now, and I just can't justify spending the coins. I actually kind of want to sell Marshall Falk uh, personally uh, because I honestly don't even feel like the halfback is that important of a position in Ultimate Team this year. I feel like really as long as they can juke, it's pretty much like I've literally won games with Tony Pollard on the field getting, you know, and he will beat people on wheel routes just like Marshall Falk. So to me, I don't find – the running back position being that significant. Now, that being said, I do think the most important position in your lineup is your quarterback. And as of right now, which is uh, December 5th, 2023, I think Joe Flacco is the best quarterback in the game. The reason why is because he has set feet lead for 4 AP. He has gunslinger for 2 AP, but he has this AKA X factor where he can actually get hot route master. It starts on for four downs. Then I believe it goes away for six downs and then it comes back for four downs. So I, I think this is the best ability in the game because you basically get hot route master for one AP. And in this game, having the ability to have some access to hot route master is really, really relevant. Another thing that I think is actually a kind of a super slept on uh, X factor is what Stefan Gilmore gets here. If you take a look at his X factor, he actually gets the unstoppable. It's unstoppable once activated and it is four additional hot routes at any wide receiver position. So he basically gets unstoppable wide receiver apprentice where if you make three 20 yard catches, which is not that hard. If you think about it, you throw three verticals crossers or you throw three double post posts to him. He is going to get this X factor. And then you can basically have a slot apprentice on your a wide receiver apprentice, wherever you want to put him, he's going to get those extra routes. So I personally just really, really value either a slot apprentice or a, I just really, really value hot rub master. I think hot rub master is such a good ability and um, in this year's game, it, you can't, you, in my opinion, you can't put Hot Route Master over Set Feet Lead. Set Feet Lead is that powerful. But Hot Route Master is the second most important ability on the offensive side of the ball. The first and most important ability, Set Feet Lead. Second most important ability, Hot Route Master, 100%. And I've actually thought about, um, you know, actually taking Gunslinger off of Joe Flacco and adding a slot apprentice to this to make it, I think, just better. But. That is kind of the way that I'm rocking this. Now, in a 50 out of 50 Cowboys theme team, one of the things people underestimate is this Jordan Reed card at tight end. Actually, not terrible. Uh, 92 speed once you get him all the way powered up and everything. And he hits all the route running thresholds. Uh, to me, he plays fine. And actually, to be honest with you, Jake Ferguson also plays fine for me. So I don't really value – this is another position kind of honestly like running back. I feel like at a certain point, all the tight ends are fine. I wouldn't stress to have the, unless you're running trips tight end, for example, I wouldn't stress to run, you know, uh, the, these two tight ends do fine for me. Um, I could, you know, if I wanted to get an additional tight end, put him in there. Uh, I think, uh, 
I'm trying to remember who the best tight end. Like Gronkowski gets tight end apprentice for one AP. I could uh, get him and put him in there for one AP. I could have a one AP tight end apprentice. I could put gift wrap back on Joe Flacco, take gunslinger off, and then have the wide receiver apprentice. You could certainly set it up like that. Uh, but this is what I recommend. And then uh, that's pretty much it for the offensive side of the ball. As far as X factors, I'm not, I'm not too up on anything other than these two right here. I just put the jukebox thing on or the human joystick on Marshall Falk just for fun. Um, but I've never activated it. I literally never run the ball. If you, if you, I think actually the best X factor for running back is either the Bijan Robinson uh, X factor, the Marshall Falk. You can actually put Marshall Falk with a backfield apprentice if you wanted to do that. Um, or you could also uh, get like freight train. Any running back that gets freight train, they're just going to break more tackles, so I think it's better. The offensive line is the worst part of the steam team, uh, in my opinion. They don't really have a good offensive line. Uh, their defensive line is okay, and I'm actually missing some cards that would make it better, which we're going to go over that. But in my opinion, um, you know, this actually has been fine. You can kind of get away with bad guards as long as you have a good center and a good tackle, in my opinion. So. Um, you need good centers and you need good tackles. That's why I could actually upgrade this right tackle position if I wanted to, but this is, this is fine for me. Okay. Uh, let's talk about the defense. So the best part of this theme team is their cornerbacks. They have, uh, three really, really good corners who actually all, um, specifically Deron Bland, uh, gets really, really good abilities. If you take a look at Deron Bland, he's 95 speed, but the biggest thing that in the really, uh, big value add for Deron Bland is he has pick artist for zero AP pick artist is the pick artist and D and any kind of KO. That's what we're looking for defensively. So ideally you want to have deep out zone knockouts or deep end zone knockouts, and you want to have pick artists, those two abilities together are very, very, very powerful. Now, if you were asking me, do you prioritize a KO ability or do you prioritize pick artists? I will always have to unfortunately tell you, you prioritize KO abilities. However, the pick artist ability is relatively significant and it is like almost like a 1A, 1B. It's hard to prioritize the two, but in my opinion, you still because of the way this game plays, it's almost impossible to get a stop without a KO ability. You have to have your KOs. If you don't have your KOs, it's just they're going to catch everything, okay? So you need to have KOs, especially if you're playing zone, okay? Uh, Deion Sanders, uh, basically Dion does, unfortunately, he really doesn't get any good abilities. This is the most, like... This is the worst Deion Sanders card they've probably ever dropped, which is super unfortunate, in my opinion. Um, if you were playing man-to-man -man coverage, Dion would be an absolute stud, okay? And you could make an argument that if you put – but the, the KO abilities for man coverage are so high, it's hard to justify that. Uh, you can't pay two AP for pick artists in this game because the AP on defense is just so – it's so essential. And um, if deep out zone KO was two AP – then uh, you could pay for pick artists, but it's it's just you just can't do it. So um, Dion is actually going to be playing nickel or slot corner for me. And what is interesting about this Dion Sanders card is because I'm running dollar on defense. They if you want to get my dollar defensive ebook, every ebook is in the Patreon. Everything you need to be better at Madden is at the Patreon. I'm actually doing some really cool stuff with a film study in the Patreon that you'll hear more about in the coming days. But Deion Sanders, 92 press. They gave him 92 press. This dude is a dog in press coverage. Uh, Ryan McNeil, kind of an underrated Cowboys theme teamer. Uh, not the best in terms of speed or press, but he's fine. Um, he's not going to – he's going to be a slot corner in dollar. Uh, this Adoree Jackson uh, card, I'm not sure what his speed is. I think – yeah, so he's actually pretty similar to Ryan McNeil. If you wanted to save some coins, you could put Adoree De Jackson in there and not have – uh, McNeil on your team. This a Wouzier card uh, out of the Harvest theme team. Not you wouldn't want him on your field. He's just not good enough to play. But obviously for theme team purposes, he gets in. Now uh, this is what I did want to quickly point out about that. You see here we don't really have a great defensive line. I'm missing a card. Um, I didn't get the Micah Parsons card. If you have the Micah Parsons card, you could get away with Micah Parsons and Demarcus. Where is your pass rushers? This Chuck Halley card is really good. Unfortunately, he doesn't get anything for zero AP. He gets Lurk Artist for one, 
and I I'm really tempted to to put it on him. I just feel like again the AP is so tight on defense. You need to have your KOs and your pick artists at your cornerbacks. And so unfortunately, I can't play this card um, other than just he's actually a really good blitzer. Um, but yeah, I really want to play Chuck Halley. I just can't, unfortunately. Uh, Demarcus Ware, though, has really uh, – the biggest thing about Demarcus Ware that is important, he's not the best pass rusher in the game. Obviously, he's kind of outdated. But he does have 90 finesse boosts. So if you need a pass rush with Demarcus Ware, you can, he kind of can. Um, and then the card I'm missing is the Darren Woodson card. Um, I'm He's kind of like the – I think he's the comp pass or the level 31 or something. Um he is very, very, very valuable. He is of extreme value, and I'm going to get him today. When he gets in uh, the team, he gets deep in zone. He gets deep zone KO for 3 AP, which is deep out zone KO and deep in zone KO. He is the most valuable card in this game because of that stack that he gets. Okay, um, So once he gets in, he's, gonna, he's obviously going to play. He'll probably play free safety for me, and he will be an absolute dog. And then we've also, um, let's talk about our special teams. Martin Martin Gramatica kicker, pretty solid kicker for Cowboys team team. Uh, but the cards that you really need to prioritize, in my opinion, Isaiah Pacheco is a must-have on every single team. And the main reason why, and this is kind of interesting how Madden is starting to do this later in the year, uh, but the discounted deep out zone knockout to AP for uh, uh, deep out zone KO. And then uh, I actually really like his unstoppable pick artist. Um, you know, it's zero AP to force it. All you got to do is force three incompletions. So the KO and the pick artist kind of go hand in hand there, which I really like that. Now, I also have Richard Sherman, and I'm actually going to change his ability. And the reason why is because of what I said. I have to make a decision with him. Do I want flat zone knockout or do I want pick artist? And unfortunately, from my testing, I just think you got to have your KOs, man. Uh, most of the time in my defense, he's going to be in a flat zone. I basically run a cover three cloud, and he does a really good job in flat zone KO. If you put pick artists on him, I can't blame you, but I'm just I'm, I'm just telling you from my experience, um, the KO made a bigger impact, okay, uh, in terms of the totality of the defense. And then the last player um, in terms of abilities – for me, actually, I have two more. Uh, Sean Taylor. Sean Taylor is where Darren Woodson's going to be. And the only reason he's on the squad is for one AP pick artist. Um, I just, you know, the more pick artists you can have, you you just, you just, I'm telling you, just, you can't, you can't not have pick artists. Uh, pick artists is such a valuable ability. And Sean Taylor has it. So uh, for right now, he's going to get it. Now, when I get uh, Darren Woodson, Darren Woodson is going to go where Sean Taylor is. And he's going to have deep out zone and deep end zone KO, but I will sacrifice the pick artists. Again, I sacrifice pick artists for KOs. That's just kind of how I I feel like you need to be playing right now. Um, and then these two dudes. So the reason that we're making a little bit of sacrifice in terms of our pass rush, if you'll notice here, I only have Demarcus, or I I don't have um, a good pass rusher here. Demarcus Ware is kind of outdated, of course. The main reason why is because I again I really value pick artists and lurk artists. So Josh Allen, I think is a must have. Why? He has zero AP lurk artists. They're going to catch interceptions significantly better than any, than someone without a pick artist or uh, lurk artist ability. So I want those players on my field and I will sacrifice, um, you know, like a JJ Watt. Now I've got to grab JJ Watt. He'll help this as well because I could put JJ Watt in the, in the middle of the defense. Okay. But, uh, in general, this is what I'm rocking. I got Donald. I actually think Aaron Donald is super valuable and I'm going to explain why. So a couple reasons. Number one, you could do this. Uh, some of these AKAs are not bad at all. Um, but the main reason is just his attributes. If you look at it, he's got 92 block shed, 92 power move, 92 finesse move, 88 speed. I think he's best bang for your buck pass rusher in the game because he's only like 260K. So pretty decent little player. And then uh, strategy items. I don't have any of this stuff, but the main thing I did want to talk about is the bull rush strategy item for the power moves, the plus two power moves. Uh, the beauty of that is it uh, is it just helps you get better sheds. You could put like a zone coverage one there or even a main coverage one there. To me, I feel like these make the most difference. 
Uh, the iron wall, I get plus three pass block on everybody. So even though I have a really, really bad offensive line, um, all things considered in terms of like what we can actually get right now, you see here that he gets plus four pass block. And so he's over 90. So it just helps some of these bad offensive linemen uh, get closer to the 90 threshold. I'm trying to get all my pass blockers to the 90 threshold. Um, the one I don't have is Connor Williams. I will say I haven't really noticed him getting super shedded. Um, so just kind of keep that in mind. And then, uh, but yeah, pretty much every lineman has over 90 pass block with the iron wall strategy item. And then, uh, and then I have, obviously, the team affinity. So rocking multiple defense in Colts offense. If you guys want to get my ebooks on these, they're on the Patreon page. Thanks for watching the video. If you want to take your Madden game to the next level, join the Patreon. It will help you become a better Madden player. It will teach you exactly how to run uh, different offenses, different defenses. And like I said in the beginning, we're starting some brand new, super in-depth film breakdowns that I think are worth their weight in gold. Um, so make sure you're in the Patreon. $10, it'll make you better overnight. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys over at the Patreon page.